Why on earth would you buy a green alien suit for north of a staggering 350 grand in GTA Online when you can get paid to go fetch one? Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. We're going through the easiest way to acquire a brand new green-ish alien suit in GTA Online. And not just one of those silly body suits, we're talking about the full practical effect variety, like you'd see in the flicks. So to start this one, we're heading to the movie studio. Once you arrive, head up the stairs and into the Corona. We'll get a quick cutscene and a briefing and then receive our assignment. Retrieve a bunch of Solomon's stolen movie props. This one's fairly straightforward. For every prop we return, we get $10,000, and at the end, there's another bonus. So we have seven static props to collect, and again, using Map Genie's GTA 5 maps is a bit of a helper here. The first one is just around the corner, actually, behind the dustpin on the left-hand side of the stairs as you're coming out of Solomon's office. Now, at this point, you can either return it and each one following, or you can just hang on to them until the end. Regardless, whenever you do return them, your reward is given in cash, so don't forget to bake your money. The great thing about these is once you have them you have them so even if your character is wasted immediately after retrieving a prop which will happen it remains in your inventory so first one's near the trash can next to Solomon's office second one is in the dressing room at vanilla unicorn which is GTA's very own exotic dancing club you'll need to buy a private dance to get into the VIP area which leads out the back the next one can be found in the gents room in the casino if you live in an area where access to this is restricted you may need to use a VPN to play for this round if that's allowed. Off to the hippie camp next, where it can be found on top of the decorated concrete artwork. Number five is on the porch of an abandoned homestead off the Route 68 approach. And the next two are kind of pricks to get to. Number six is located in the security checkpoint at the base of the control tower in Fort Zancudo. This is controlled airspace and the military staff get very upset when you pop in for a visit. And the next one is on the altar at the altruist camp in the foothills near the west coast. These boys get awful feisty. And once you collect this one, head back to the office and drop any of the props you're holding off. The next three are kind of mobile and might take a bit of time to pop up. So it might be worth grabbing a coffee so you've got something while you wait. The first mobile one typically puts around Textile Alley, the bridge or Leicester's textile factory, sort of around here-ish. Keep an eye out for a flash on your mini map and a blue dot, that's our target. Once you've spotted them, take out any hostiles, grab the van and drive it back. The penultimate prop can be found in the observatory car park the fruit stand park or at the Epsilon Institute. Same drill, just sort out any spectators, grab the van and drop it off. And the final prop can be found in the back of this busted old rebel, which normally spawns somewhere around here. Quick warning though, these boys get really stroppy. And with that one dropped off, head back to the movie lot for your final round of 10 grand. Now, after about 60 seconds or so, Solomon will ping you a message. Head into Solomon's office, investigate the box, at which point you'll be booted from the office wearing this swanky outfit and have another 50 grand in cash, making the exercise worth about 150 grand all up, minus the cost of some ammo. Plus, you get the full proper alien suit. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.